Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B. This is Channel Notes, a channel dedicated to helping YouTubers that educate and inspire to thrive on YouTube. And in this video, I want to talk about a few of the best things that I've ever done for my main YouTube channel, Michelle B. If you weren't aware, this is actually my second channel. So my main channel is Michelle B. On Channel Notes, I share my tips and tricks from my journey. So things that I've learned along the way, things that I think will help you guys to grow on YouTube. So let's get straight into the best things that I have done for my YouTube channel. Number one being narrowing my niche. So I actually kicked off my YouTube channel making makeup and fashion videos because everyone that I followed made makeup and fashion videos. Let's keep in mind, I'm not particularly fashionable and I'm not that interested in makeup. So I was making a lot of videos that really weren't Later down the line, I decided that I was going to switch to intentional living videos, so a bit more specific and a bit more me. That channel switch has completely transformed my YouTube journey. I don't think I would be anywhere near where I am today if I hadn't decided to get intentional and change the topic of my channel. I actually remember being in that transition phase of like, oh, should I be doing fashion or should I be doing intentional living? I don't know. And I remember making like a fashion video one week and then intentional living video the next week, really trying to gauge what people were into and it just ended up that intentional living videos were what people wanted to see more. And I think that it helped that I was much more interested in making them. As soon as I switched my niche to something that I actually enjoyed doing, my channel completely transformed. And I think that's really when I started to see growth on YouTube. If choosing a niche is something that you've always been frightened by, I will link my playlist below where I have a whole bunch of niche related videos. The second best thing that I've done for my YouTube channel is creating a popular video, which was how to wake up at 5 a.m. This is one of the most popular videos on my my channel and it's one of those videos that in the back of my mind I actually knew was going to do well. It's something that I had in my head for ages. I wanted to create this video before I even started waking up at 5 a.m. just because I knew it would do well on YouTube. Creating a video like this which was relevant to my niche that blew up and brought in a whole heap of new subscribers was completely transforming to my mindset and made me realize that yeah I can make videos like that that will reach that level of success. The next best thing for my YouTube channel was creating my 30 days to simplify challenge. So if you weren't aware on my main channel, I actually did 30 days of getting intentional, decluttering, so decluttering for I think 14 days and then the other 14 days was more like mental decluttering, so decluttering for the mind. And that 30 day challenge, I had so many people that got involved and followed along on my journey. So the growth that I saw during that period was huge. I think I actually hit my 100K mark right after I did that challenge. So in early February, because I did it in January of last year. Creating that 30 day challenge really proved to me that I have the capacity to do just about everything. I actually had a full time job at the time, still have a full time job. I was uploading a video every single day, which was pretty taxing on someone who is working full time. It also was really good for growing my community and tightening my community because so many people got involved and were doing the same kind of thing um, and everyone was chatting and uploading videos on Instagram so it really created a stronger community for Michelle B which was awesome. Another thing that I think it did was uploading a video every single day and the videos were doing quite well every day. It kind of like red flag to YouTube, hey something's going on with this channel you need to promote it more which I think is why I saw so much growth during that period of time. The next best thing that I did for my YouTube channel was creating Creating channel notes. So creating channel notes, I actually kicked this channel off when I had about 20k subscribers at a guest looking at my history on my main channel Michelle B. I was like, yep, I've hit 20k. Now I really know how to do YouTube, so I'm going to make some videos about it. Um, and honestly, creating channel notes has just been a huge reason that I've been able to grow my main channel. It's kind of like as I teach, I learn. I created a whole bunch of videos on channel notes telling you guys to do this, do that, and consider doing this this and that and the other and I felt a real need in order to be authentic to implement everything that I was saying. Like I was like I can't be saying over here to edit your videos in this way and not actually apply that on my main channel videos. It just wouldn't be very authentic and I'd feel just like a bit of a wanker doing that. So by creating channel notes I also was able to research a bunch of things about how to do YouTube and how to do it better as well as sort of force myself to get myself into gear and do stuff on my main channel that I knew would be helpful in the long run. Sometimes in order to learn 
learn, you need to teach. I'm definitely one of those people. I like putting my thoughts down in writing and really solidifying what I think is going to work, what isn't going to work. And that really helps me to get intentional about transforming my channel. So not only is this channel helpful to hopefully you guys, but it's also really helpful for me because it's sort of just like me putting down all of my thoughts on how I should be doing YouTube and what things I should be working on. If you like this video, you're probably going to like my video on what you need for a successful video in which I talk about how you can edit your videos, plan your videos, um, things to mention in your videos to create a successful video. It'll be linked on the screen here and it'll be down in the description below. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you soon.